Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about the Mail app and specifically for the settings of the Mail app. One of the most used apps by iOS users and you need to make sure that you have the settings of your Mail app set up the right way so you can get the best out of the Mail app. So first of all, we're heading into the settings app, go under Mail here and we have notifications there. So right here we'll have your notifications which you probably have turned on for your mail app but did you know that if you have multiple accounts on your mail app you can actually customize notifications you can do that by going here and you scroll all the way down to customize notifications and they will have your two different accounts or even more doesn't matter how many you have there you can actually go ahead and customize notifications for each account so here i can enable or disable alerts and badges and i will have sounds as well here so i can go ahead and choose any sound i want for that specific account and then i have the same here for the other one as well the next one will be remind me now if you want to have the remind me option for your mail then you can go ahead and go here and again you will have the options to actually enable alerts and badges for the reminders as well as choose any sound you want from the list here and the vibration as well so you can customize any of these again for your two or more different accounts and for the remind me feature as well Here's another setting that I would suggest you change under the notification settings for your mail app. And that is the preview of the notification. So if you go under notifications here under the mail app and you go to show previews, you will have three different options, always, when unlocked or never. Now I choose to never show a preview because if I have my iPhone laying on a table and I get an email, maybe something really important or maybe it's something like a secret or something like that. I don't want anything to be displayed on the screen of my iPhone while in public. Well, you can do that simply by choosing the default never option right there, or maybe just choose when unlocked. So anytime your iPhone is unlocked, you can see that preview. I would never suggest that you use the always option because your emails will actually show up on the screen all the time whenever you get a notification. Next up, we're moving under the accounts section. So again, if you have multiple or even more accounts, you wanna know which account you're using, you can best do that by adding maybe descriptions to those so you know better what you're doing there. So here I have iCloud and I have the work email. What I can do here is just go to one of them and then right here you can see where it says account, I can tap on it and I can add a description. Now the description in this case is work. You can add any description you want. Maybe you use an email for school or something like that. You can add that description so you better know which account you're using. Now when you go to your accounts, you will find another option here that you can change. And that is by going under your account here. So you can do this individually for each of your accounts. If you go under the advanced settings, you will have an option here to choose what you wanna do with the discarded messages on your own that mailbox basically so you don't have to have the same for different accounts you can actually customize this for each account individually so you can delete the mailbox or basically move them to the deleted mailbox or to the archived mailbox whatever you want to do when you just discard a message just choose it right here now we're moving back here under the account section and we have here a really important section fetch new data now this is actually really really important as this will basically show you how you get your basically your data to the mail app so by using the push option your iphone will basically just get the data pushed from the server when it's possible but that actually will just like have a lot of bad impacts on the battery life on of course cellular data and performance of your iphone so i would never suggest that you use push because it's always working in the background you can actually fetch them manually or you can choose to do that maybe hourly or maybe even 15 or 30 minutes depend on depending on of course how important you think those emails are but i wouldn't actually suggest to do push for any of your accounts because that again will have a big impact on battery as well as performance so if you even go to any of these here like any of your accounts you can choose manual fetch or push so if you don't want to do the same thing for all your different accounts you can choose them again individually next we're moving to another setting that is 
more like a preference like an individual preference if you go to preview right here you can choose how many lines of the email you want to preview when you go into the app so the default is two and you can see how it looks right here on the mail app but if i just choose another number let's say four you can see now i can see way more here like a big part of the mail right here on the list without having to actually open that email at all so of course you can even choose there are none so you don't actually see any line at all just the sender of that email next up we're moving to swiping options probably a lot of people didn't know about this option and then you that you can actually do this and customize the swiping options on your email app so you will have a swipe left and swipe right so we have two different options there so you can disable it completely or you can choose here flag or move the message then you will have a swipe right here you can choose mark as read move messages and also archive so basically when you swipe on the email like this you can see you get those options that we chose right there of course you can swipe all the way like this to actually perform that action and next we're moving under the privacy protection section here and this is a really really important setting that i suggest every iphone user must have turned on it is called protect mail activity mail privacy protection works by hiding your ip address and loading remote content privately in the background even when you don't open the message at all and it will make of course harder for the senders to follow your mail activity knowing whether you have opened the email or your ip address or stuff like that another simple yet very useful setting that i suggest you must have turned on for your mail app is follow-up suggestions you will find it right here make sure you have it enabled now what it will do is that it will suggest you to follow up on an email so you get an email maybe you read it you just postpone it to actually maybe reply later you forget about it this will just show you suggestions to follow up on different emails next we're moving to the threading section here so what we have here really interesting like a seg setting that you can actually enable it is called most recent message on top so on a thread you will notice that on the mail app the recent message will be at the bottom so with this enabled you will always have you know, the most recent message on that thread at the top of the conversation next up we're moving to include attachments with replies so when you get an email and there's attachments on that email when you reply they will send back the attachments with the reply as well well you can enable or disable that you don't have to actually do that you will have some really nice options here so you can disable that you can have the app ask you or always send it which i wouldn't recommend or only when you add new recipients so when you add new recipients you can actually add just like attachments to that reply so the same attachments will go to the new recipients as well moving on to signature right here so you can see when we move to signature we will have two different options so you will have all account and per account if you go to all account you can just have one signature and it will be the same for all of your accounts but of course you use different accounts for like different reasons so you don't want that to happen you choose per account you can go ahead and just choose here any signature you want individually for each of the accounts next up we have the default account here so you will have multiple accounts there you can choose which is the default one so if i ask let's say siri to send an email it will send it for the from the default account if i just try to quickly compose a new email it will always be from the default account that i choose right here and last but not least is a very useful feature called undo send delay so what this will do is basically give you like a period of time in which you can undo the send of that email so i would suggest you go with 30 seconds that way you will have way more time to actually undo the send of that email if you just maybe see that you have making a mistake or you did something you wrote something wrong you did something wrong with that email you will have 30 seconds to actually stop that email from going out that way you must choose 30 seconds under the settings of this app so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and leave a like if you did don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one